Alright, so let me see now. There are 26 letters in the alphabet. 26 letters equal 26 houses. That should be very interesting. It's a thought. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel! Now, as I mentioned in that uh, weird little intro right there, yeah, that little weird intro, there are 26 letters in the alphabet, and what I am going to do is I'm going to choose one house for each letter of the alphabet. And I'm just gonna explain real quickly why I've chosen that particular house. And if you see me looking down there sometimes, this is actually where my list is, just in case if I do forget something. All right, so here we go. A, all right, now with A, there are plenty of fragrances that uh, come in mind. You got Armaf, you got Azaro, but me personally, I would stick with Armani. And yeah, some of you guys are going to say, oh, Armani is actually Shorshi Armani. Listen, it's my list, my rules. Why would I choose Armani? First of all, they do make lovely, lovely fragrances and you have a wide variety to choose from. From the ever popular Aqua Di Jo line, you have the Armani Code line, Intensely With You, the list goes on and on. And that's the reason why I would choose Armani. Now going to B. Now when you hear B, I think probably the first thing that comes to mind is Burberry. There's nothing wrong with that. You also have Banana Republic. But me personally, I would go with Bulgari. Yes, you have the freshest in the entire Bulgari Aqua line. Then you got the Bulgari Man, in, Man line, Bulgari Man in Black line. Then you also have the Bulgari Poor Home, which for some reasons, it doesn't really get talked about a lot. But again, Bulgari, they make sunny fragrances for all seasons. And this is the reason why I decide to go with Bulgari. Now moving on to C, that's very, that's actually easy. Chanel, blue the Chanel, the entire Allure line. Then you can throw back to the 80s with Poor Monsieur and uh, Antios. Then you have Egoist, Platinum Egoist. And if you want, there is always the Chanel Private line. So C, Chanel, that's a no brainer. Moving on to D. <laughs> Now, I guess everybody would know what D is. It is Christian Dior. I absolutely love Dior fragrances, whether it's their general releases or if it's the private blend line or is it exclusive line? I think it's ex exclusive. You got everything from Audi Savage with that old school barbershop type of DNA. You have Savage, of course. You have a Dior Home, Fahrenheit, Dior is just solid. That's the obvious choice for me. Now moving on to E. I could have went with Emengildo Zenga, Zenga, but I decided to do it a little bit different. And um, no, this is designer. Damn it. Yeah, so I guess I would have to go with um, Zenga. They do make lovely perfumes. I like Intenso. I really do. And they have some lovely freshies as well. And then they also have the higher, higher scale or the higher end of fragrances, such as I think Italian bergamot, Indonesian oud, and stuff like that. I actually wanted to choose eccentric molecules, but eccentric molecules is actually niche and not designer. So yeah. All right, moving on to F. I could have gone with Fendi. I could have gone with Fubu. I could have gone with others, but I decided to go with Ferrari because the Ferrari Essence line isn't bad. They're inexpensive and they're nice for the price. They're they're nice, so I decided to go with um, Ferrari. Now moving on to Chi, and I guess I could have gone with Givenchy. I mean, you know, play Givenchy gentleman line, pie serious you know etc but i decided to go with Guerlain. and listen do not tell me that Guerlain is a niche fragrance because all you guys that compile these lists you all put Guerlain with designers 
even though they only make perfumes you have put them in designers lists so that's the end of that girl and i mean what can i say the entire ideal line vetiver lidge habitat rouge and they do make good and solid fragrances so g was a no-brainer moving down to h and the obvious choice for me is hermes because i do like hermes fragrances i own tear the hermes intense vetiver i own tear the hermes pure perfume i also own thermes ultra is fresh i own the rhubarb eclarat voyage edt which i need to get the edp i'm working on that so yeah there again the obvious choice for me moving on to i and anybody that knows me and has been watching videos isimiyaki definitely one of my favorite houses i also did a a versatile series of Isimiyaki. I link that video down below as well. And believe me, Isimiyaki, especially the, the entire Ludi Isi, New the Isi, can't go wrong. I own about 12 to 13 different flunkers of, of that one. So, yeah, I just love that one. Moving down to J, I could have gone with Yope, but I do like Jean Paul Gaultier a bit more. Um, I did a review of Jean Paul Gaultier Le Mal Le Parfum, which I'm going to link in the description as well. Lovely, lovely release, solid, solid, solid flunker, and is in, and it's definitely a contender to be my one, my favorite 2020 release. Which that video is gonna drop further down in the year. Um, from the original Le Mal to Le Mal Al Fresh, in the Navy Le Bou lovely line and the obvious choice for me going down to K I could have gone with Kenzo but I decided to go with Karl Lagerfeld they do make solid fragrances very inexpensive affordable and uh, that's the reason why I went with Karl Lagerfeld now L L is interesting because I could have gone with Lacoste which they do, I mean, they don't make bad fragrances. But everybody that's a fragrance collector, I think L would be the. For L, there's no choice but Lalique. Definitely. I own Ancra Noir, Ancra Noir Sport, Ancra Noir Extreme, Pure White, Loam. I'm gonna get Linsumis. I think that's what's it called. Lovely, lovely line very very inexpensive and the quality is superb like you would never expect a perfume of such quality to be so inexpensive so Lalique definitely the choice for me now we're going to M now M was a M, M was a toss up for me between Moschino and Mugler and yes people I know you're going to say, oh, but it's Thierry Mugler, it starts with a T. If you actually go online, you go Mugler, they pop up. So that's settled for me. So yeah, I'm gonna go with Mugler for M. I mean, especially their famous Amen line. Very, very, very solid. Um, pure Havan, fire, pure malt, fire. Somehow trying to get some more flankers of the Amen, Amen line. Then you have Mugler Cologne. There are solid fragrances. Alien. It's either you like it or you don't like it. But even Alien, they're, they're not bad fragrances. And that's the reason why I went with Mugler over Moschino. Even though I love Toy Boy. Toy Boy is an amazing scent. But I'll leave that for our next video. Alright. Moving on to N. Nautica. No, I'm just kidding. Guys, listen, there is nothing wrong with choosing Nautica. They make good fragrances, very, very inexpensive. They won't break the bank and they're not bad smelling. So there's nothing wrong with that. But me personally, I decided to go with Narcissa Rodriguez. Not only because one of my, my wife's favorite perfume is actually Narcissa Rodriguez Pure Musk. But I do like their scent DNAs. And uh, yeah, I... 
I just decided to go with that. Maybe I'm a bit biased because my wife loves it so much. So, but Narcissa Rodriguez, yeah, that gets that spot for N. Now, oh, <laughs> there are not many fragrances that start with O. Um, I'm just gonna go with Original Penguin. Not bad, they make okay fragrances. The price point on it is, they're good. I need to, I need to get some more Original Penguin, so. Yeah, definitely. All right, moving on to P, Paco Rabanne. No, I'm not gonna go with Paco Rabanne. Don't get me wrong, they make lovely fragrances. Excess, Pure Excess, Excess Night. Then you have the One Million Trio, One Million, Million Privé, <laughs> One Million Lucky. You know, you have the Invictus line, very popular, crowd pleasing, mass appealing fragrances. But I decided to go with Prada because to me, Prada is just an, just a tiny notch above Pacoraban. With beauty such as Prada Luna Rosa Black, which I absolutely love. Luna Rosa Carbon, well the entire Luna Rosa line so to speak Then you have the Prada Loam line Very clean smelling iris based fragrances Their Amber line again Very lovely fragrances and That's the reason why Prada is in that slot Now moving on to Q I don't have a fragrance that starts, starts with Q Q is just a weird letter man So we're gonna skip that Going down to R I could have gone with Rochas, but I'm going to choose Roberto Cavalli. Roberto Cavalli, Umo, very, very, very solid line, whether it's Umo, Umo Silver Essence, Umo La Notte, and I think there's one in a red bottle as well. I don't remember what that one is called. Very solid, manly scents. Yeah, the, that, no juvenile scent DNA whatsoever. They're manly scents. And that's the reason why I went with Roberto Cavalli. S. Salvatore Ferragamo. The entire Umo line, the Aqua Essenziale line. Then I do have that um, Ferragamo 2020. Solid line. You can pick them up very reasonable and they're good solid perfumes. So, Salvatore Ferragamo. Definitely. Going down to T and yes, I'm going to say Tom Ford. Name another designer house that's solid like Tom Ford that starts with T. There is none. I mean, Grey Vetiver, Tom Ford Man, Umbra Leather, Black Orchid, Velvet Orchid, what is it, White Orchid. I mean, like seriously, and that's just the signature line. And now with Body Sure coming to the signature line, come on. And Private Blends, just like how Chanel has their exclusive lines, or Dior, Tom Ford Private Blends. I, I love them. I love them, I love how they smell. And so Tom Ford gets that spot. Now, moving on to you. I can't come up with a fragrance. If you guys know a fragrance that that starts with you and this is worthy, leave a comment below. Let me know. V, that's a no-brainer as well. Valentino, especially with that Valentino Umo line. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Valentino Umo, Umo Intense, Aqua, Absolute Noir. Well, the only one that that's that's a bit bad is Burning Room. Yeah. But nevertheless, Valentino all the way for me. Now W and X again. I couldn't come up with any fragrances that start with a W or a X. Well, X I search off, but this is a designer list and not niche. So again, if you guys know any designer house that makes fragrances with W or X, let me know. Why? But this is a no bright brainer. YSL, Yves Saint Laurent, Loam, La Noite de Loam, Y, YEDP, Y Life, Y All Fresh. Come on, man, the lovely, lovely 
They also have an exclusive line with masterpieces such as Tuxedo. There you have it, obvious choice. Plus, there are not a whole lot of designer houses that actually start with Y. Moving on to the last one now. Z Zadigan Voltaire. This is him, absolute lovely, lovely masterpiece. I did a first impressions video for that as well. I'm going to link that video in the description. And um, yeah, that's the obvious choice. I am going to dig a bit deeper in this house as well, starting 2021, because um, they have This Is Him Just Rock, and then Is This Love. Yeah, I think they have three fragrances for me, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, Zadig and Voltaire gets the last slot. So there you have it guys. 26 fragrances, alphabetical order. I hope you found this video interesting. Um, this is more or less uh, a fun type of video, but uh, if you found it interesting, you know, I'll appreciate if you leave a like. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, I'll definitely appreciate if you could click on the subscribe button. And while you're at it, click on the notification bell as well, so you'll be notified whenever your friendly Jamaican fragrance reviewer uploads a brand new video. You can also catch up with me over there on social media, Instagram, whiteboys underscore fragrance underscore corner, or on Facebook at whiteboys fragrance corner. Now with that said and out of the way, man fi smell good, you can't go New Year's Eve and smell like wet sneakers. Yeah, the wet sneakers smell there, that never go work. I fi smell with one of them that we may just list out, see? Anyways my peeps, stay safe, stay blessed, white boy is out.